Hi. Hi. Happy Monday. We're bringing you something a little different. Instead of a trailer, we actually had the privilege and the honor to be guests on our Friend of the Pod podcast, Epic Film Guys. Last May, they did this live stream for The Cure where they raise money for cancer research. And I think it was their fourth annual? Third. Third annual. Mm -hmm. And they were raising about $7,500 and they blew it out of the fucking water. So good job. Shout out to them. They're super fucking awesome. But they brought on, they basically went live for, I don't even know, like three days on Twitch TV. And like we got to be part of the show. So we just wanted to share our little little time with you all yeah and obviously we couldn't do a full episode with them but you'll get a little half hour snippet where we played our new game called rolodex of death Uh, we played it uh with each other and with the amazing host of epic film guys nick so we're bringing that to you today while you're listening to the recording you may hear a a -a ding-a-ling sound cha-ching yeah, that is because people were fucking donating the dollar dollar while Hala. we played our game. So that's the weird sound you're hearing, if you're wondering. And you can still donate, actually. I'm going to post the link to it on our social media. So after you like listen to this, check out our Instagram and our Twitter. And you can still donate. It's not too late. So enjoy. Enjoy. Bye. Bye. We are utterly thrilled. Utterly thrilled to be joined by Kim and Kat. Stay alive, maybe? Hi! Hello, Hello, ladies. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. I am not exhausted yet, so that's a good sign. Nice. Good. (laughs) Still running on adrenaline? Yeah, something like that. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome to the live stream for The Cure. Now, Ketrin was on an episode of the Epic Film Guys Earlier in the year, she was on our 2010 in film retrospective. Wonderful to have you back again. Have you watched Fred the movie yet? Fuck no! <laughs> I'm not. Oh, wait. Am I not allowed to curse? Oh, my God. <laughs> we're going to be in big trouble. We if we... already fucked up. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. You guys can say whatever you want. And Kim, this is your first time on the Epic Film Guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to both Thank of you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to We're be here. We're thrilled, absolutely thrilled to have you guys here. Jared Taylor, Ashley, and Love, somebody donated $10 for Love. Thank you. And Julio from the Contrarians, all of you. Thank Aww, you so much love. for your donations during the last segment. Amazing. We are at 18.13% of the way toward our goal of $7,500. Awesome. Hit that donation button right below these two lovely ladies and donate to the live stream for the cure please take a moment tell us what kim and cat stay alive maybe is all about well we are a horror movie comedy podcast with a twist and uh what we do is one of us watches a movie and tells it to the other one who hasn't seen it can you hear us can you hear us (laughs) we can't hear you yeah i can i can hear you i was giving instruction to Daniel. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so one of us watches a movie and tells it to doing. the other person. And uh, at different points in the film, we ask what they, what we think the character did and what they would do to stay alive. And if you get it right, then you get a bell. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. So you guys have a kind of abridged version of your show is my understanding for the event. Yes this afternoon. So I'm it's I'm going to chime in week. periodically, but I'm going to let you guys have the floor. I'm Mom, excited to hear this. Us? You can. I could play. I'll play. Yeah. I love playing. Yeah, yeah. play with us. <laughs> so um, we came up with uh, an amazing concept that um, uh, our producer, aka my husband, aka Eric, um, helped us with. Since we didn't have time to do like an entire movie, we wanted to figure out uh, how we could play the game in sort of a shorter amount of time. So we came up with a roll of decks of death. <laughs> so, I wish I had like a uh, siren on the soundboard right now. That would have been perfect to be like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so what we have is we, I have four death scenarios and Kim has four death mm-hmm. scenarios from actual horror movies, uh, neither, we haven't seen each other's uh, deaths, um, and they were written, um, Eric 
was helpful enough to write these up for us. So um, I guess we'll do just kind of like a round robin. So yeah. it's like Kim will ask one and you and I will answer what we think the character did. If you've seen the movie, then it would just be like what you would do because some of them are from pretty well-known movies and others are from not so well-known movies. So oh, Good for you. Um, I've never seen a single movie, pretty much. <laughs> we've, we're finding out. So you I probably have seen none of these. You do a podcast about movies, right? No, no. Oh, <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> um, so I guess, who would you like to go first since you're the host? Who would I'm you gonna, like to go first? Since it's her first time on the epic film, guys, Ketrin, I'm going to pass it over to Kim first. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let us Do know. Uh, I'm I'm so excited. This is going to be fun. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to set the scene for you. Okay. You're in Haiti. Okay. Mm -hmm. Dead people have been climbing out of their graves and walking around. Shit. <laughs> okay. The pharmaceutical company you work for, because you're a monster probably. Right. Uh, <laughs> sends you to Haiti. Big pharma. <laughs> Big pharma. <laughs> <laughs> so you're pharmaceutical company that you work for sent you to Haiti to investigate how to create these zombies. <gasps> Rude! Because they want to turn whatever substance they use into a drug. Because you're monsters. You're monsters. Okay. So, while you're there, you meet a dude mm -hmm. who was buried seven years ago. Okay. So the decay process <laughs> is well underway for this fellow. Is he, what I should... he doesn't seem right. Okay. Gotcha. He's a little off. Mm -hmm. Where's his arm? Okay. So you find a guy who says he can give you the drug, but he sells you rat poison instead. Shit! Ooh. Boiled. Now, the Haitian special police abduct you. They hammer a nail through your scrotum. <gasps> I don't even have a scrotum! I think for you, we're going to say they sewed your it's vagina. No! <laughs> This is a really bad. <laughs> this is Eric's fault. And Eric! they, they tell you to get the fuck out of town because they don't like snoops. They don't want you snooping right. around. So you're in Haiti. You're looking for zombie drugs. Um, you have a nail through your scrotum and vagina. <laughs> um, but you still don't leave town. Why? Because you're an idiot. Why? So you love nails. We have a donation from our executive producer, Dan. $10 donation. Hashtag Rolodex of Death. Yeah! Dan, 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 So, okay. So, back to nails in the scrotum. Still got a nail. I won! I won! Here comes the money. And now, the Friday the 13th podcast with a $10 donation. We're blowing it up. We love them. Um, okay. So now you have nightmares about a voodoo witch doctor. Crap. And then you wake up next to a decapitated woman. Fuck. Shit's not going good for no. you. No. And then the Haitian special police try to frame you for murder. I hate Haiti. Let's get out of here. The voodoo witch doctor from your dream in real life now warns you to get the fuck out yes. seriously or you will be convicted and executed. Yes. But you learn that if you stay one more night, okay, you can get the drug from someone. So this is a two-parter question. Question one. Uh-huh. Do you do what the voodoo which do you do the voodoo <laughs> that she do the <laughs> Do what the voodoo witch doctor says and get the fuck out of there, or do you say I won, I won. destruction in human form? Jared Taylor with a twenty dollar donation. <laughs> okay, so do, do you, you say, do the voodoo that you do? Yeah, do you do the voodoo witch doctor says? <laughs> and get on a plane and get out of there. Yeah, or do you stay and try to get the drug? And what do you think he does? <sighs> okay. I realize that I've been reading this part. <laughs> Don't read the pink I'm highlighting not reading. part. Okay. So I'll go first since I, I'm, I'm the pro. You're the veteran. So, okay. My goal is to stay alive. So I'm going to get the fuck out 
of Haiti. I am leaving. I am going to unsew my vagina, remove the nail from my scrot. I'm going to get on a plane and fucking later days out of here. I cannot be bothered with zombies. Goodbye. Okay. What do I think he does? I think he fucking stays like a goddamn fucking idiot. Yes! I want to know who put the nail through my scrotum, and I'd just chase him down and beat him with a baseball bat. But would that? <laughs> but would that keep? But you that alive? was the police. Yeah, that that wouldn't keep me alive, would it? Yeah, the objective is to stay alive. I'd be terrible at this game, by the way. I will lose That's every time. That's our problem too. Yeah. We always are like, here's what I would do in life to figure. I don't to know. Stick it to the man hero. and big pharma. I mean, in but, this situation, but, though, like, you've already had to nail through your private parts. Like, I'm out of there, too. I'm with Kat. Yeah. I would be piecing the fuck out of town. Be like, yeah. nope. Let's, honestly, Nick, let's go together. Like, hand in hand. But out if I here. could have the window seat, <laughs> that would be great. Are there? Who's flying the plane? Is it a zombie? <laughs> Ooh, Is that the sequel? Shit. No, it's Kim. It's Kim. Kim's flying it. <laughs> I came and picked you up. Yeah. 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 Great. So, second <laughs> part of the question. Okay. He stays to get the drug, but then he does fly back to America. Okay. Where, at a dinner party, your boss's wife is possessed by the voodoo witch doctor, who tells you that you've now been cursed and will die soon. You've seen some crazy shit so far, so you pretty much believe that this curse is real. Yeah. So, do you go back to Haiti and try to get the curse lifted? And what does he do? You go first this time. I mean, I say, I, yeah, I'm scared shitless now because now this voodoo witch doctor is possessing him. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going back because now I'm terrified and I want to live. I want to live. Haiti. All right, back to Haiti. I, I think I'm gonna send Nick back to Haiti to like do a little <laughs> recon. <laughs> And kind of figure out, like, let him feel out the situation and then decide whether or not I get on the plane. And I think that that's the best way to stay alive. What do you think? Um, and what do you think he does? Oh, I think he goes back to Haiti like a fucking idiot. How about you, Nick? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Wow, we got Dang. a triple ding. Woohoo! He does. He goes back to Haiti. And after being buried alive, do I say buried? Buried weird? How do you say that it's word? It's spelled Buried, but it's pronounced buried, buried. Yeah. which is, which is another up. element of bullsh- <laughs> bullshit that the English language has in store for us. <laughs> so after being buried alive with a tarantula in his coffin, no, no, no he's rescued by the zombie who was buried seven years ago. Oh, his seven so years, seven years ago, buried friend, and they defeat the witch doctor. And then they get married? And have sex? Well, his wife Zombie sex. was already... He had a wife. Oh, he had a wife. Okay. So, so. oh, that's such a heartwarming tale. Yeah. So, Nick, do you know what movie that's you know from? Movie I have no it. fucking idea. What fucking movie? Do I have to tell you? Do you? Does Dan know? Was Dan just yelling in the background that Dan, he knew what it Dan was? Dan was just like, what movie is this? I think he's <laughs> rampantly trying to Google and find out <laughs> information. The mo- you say Not on Netflix. No, I don't know. But yeah. <laughs> um, it's The Serpent and the Rainbow. The Serpent and Starring the Rainbow. Bill Pullman and Paul Winfield, directed by the You're late great Wes up. Craven. Oh, wow, Wes Craven. Justin's yeah. seen it, guaranteed. If Justin were here, Justin would know exactly what that was. He would know what it was. Oh, 100%. Yeah. He'd be like, I never forgot that hammer <laughs> through the scrotum. <laughs> never <laughs> forgot. <laughs> this. Okay, are you ready for the next one? It's my I'm time. ready. Ugh. All right. I'm no ready. more so, scrotums. Okay. Here we go, Bernsey. Oh, it's got Bill Pullman. All right. Your psychotic watch. brother just broke you out of jail. Oh, you were in jail for robbing a bank. Okay. And yes. uh, you guys are trying to, you're on the land. You're obviously trying to skip town. Uh, and you're trying to make your way to the Mexican border. Okay. On your way, you decide to kidnap a family as well. And, and a minister. Because, you know. If if you're going to do it, go big, is Uh what I say. So um, you take them to a rowdy bar near the Mexican border because you're waiting for, like, your criminal friend 
to like take you across the border. Like you need help doing that. So they're like, let's just go have a drink real quick while we're waiting for our dude at this like borderland bar. So you're in the bar and you're hanging out, throwing back some shots. When you realize that the bar is actually a hangout for vampires. <laughs> yeah, and these are like vampires. scary vampires, not like uh, sparkly vampires. Not sexy vampires. No, I mean they might be sexy. I don't. I don't. I don't know your type in <laughs> vampire speak, um, but they're not. Like, they're just not sparkly. Like they're like the badass <laughs> vampires. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know. Like you might be into it. Okay. So um, you and your brother, along with the minister and his family, and now you've also picked up a biker and a trucker. Y'all have to fight off the vampires because the vampires are like, so, oh, my God, round of drinks. And by round of drinks, I mean human yeah. blood. Um, so you guys okay. are fighting them off. And at one point, you realize that your brother is a vampire. No. Yeah. And the biker is like, well, fuck this. Your brother's a vampire. I'm going to fucking stake him. And you're like, no, not on my watch. He's my brother. So you're like, if you go near my brother with that stake, the vampires won't have to suck your blood because it'll be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and That's badass. And yes. like, they'll be able to lick that. it up off the floor. So the biker stands down because he's like, this is getting too real. So question what do you do, Bernsey? What do you do, Nick? And what do you guys think Bank Robber does? So we are... So your brother is legit a vampire. And you and right. he's a fucking vampire. So he brought us here on purpose, probably. Uh, no, I think he might have gotten turned into oh, a vampire, here. possibly. Yeah, I believe uh, so. Yeah. So like, sucks. it's not his fault, but like, also he's a vampire. And so we're friends now with our group, it seems like? I think you're friends by like, default in that you all have heartbeats. We kidnapped them, but then we had to band together because <laughs> to fight the vampire bar vampire. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, I, fuck, you know what? Mm -hmm. God damn it! We're such, here's what's staying alive. Here's the one thing I've learned about staying alive. Yeah. You, we have to become fucking ruthless. <laughs> we do, because that's what keeps you alive. Nice people die. Um, I'm going to stake my brother. My brother's already dead. So okay. you have to stake him, and you have to stake all the vampires. Okay. I'm staking everyone. I'm staking left and right. I'm like stake machine. Okay. Nick, what do you do? Here comes the money. I read out the donation from Interrupted Tales, a $15 donation. A crazy world where Selma Hayek is not Sex Machine. Because he knows exactly what movie this is. Oh, they know what movie it is. Yeah, they know okay. what movie it is. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I agree with Ketrin. You got to stake the motherfucker, right? Like you've, I'm yeah, sorry, with so Kim, you've just got to, you've got to be ruthless to survive. He's already dead. Yeah. Yeah. Technically. And yeah. so he's undead, but he's not alive anymore. Right. And so what do, what do you guys think he, he does? You guys oh. can confer to get a triple ding. You know what's so interesting is the entire time you were reading it, I was like, oh, because you're like, you are da 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 So I was like, the bank robber is a chick. And I was just like, it's a sister and brother team. Oh, my God. It should be. It should be. Let's do a remake of this movie. Starring oh. us. Um, I think that he, she, she, he, um, they. they uh, does not stake the book. Okay. Do you agree? No. I agree a hundred percent. Okay. Uh, you get two dings because you both staked your brother. So that is correct. That would keep you alive, but you did not get the third ding because he also staked his brother. <gasps> oh, oh, I shit. couldn't remember. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, good so pretty good. good so this is from dusk. This is the movie from dusk till dawn. And, oh written by Quentin Tarantino, written by Robert Rodriguez, and it stars George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino, as the psychotic brother, Harvey Keitel, love me some Harvey Keitel, oh, Juliet boy. Lewis, Tom Savini, and uh, as the biker whose name is Sex Machine. I guess that's what they're talking about, but also Come Selma on, Sex Machine! <laughs> so, yeah. That's, he has, uh, he has a revolver for a penis. Alright. You ready for number three? Yes. Okay. Um... This one's wackadoo too, but I like it. <laughs> okay. You're a priest. 
I am a priest, so this works out. You invite some scientists to investigate a large cylinder of swirling green liquid in the basement of your monastery. Uh oh. Because that's weird. Right? Sure. Like, why is that there? Yeah. The green liquid is sending them transmissions. And they begin to think it is the physical embodiment of the devil. Oh, no. Obviously. This is terrible. Of course. This never works out when the devil comes to play. They theorize that the devil is actually the offspring of an even more evil entity known as anti-god. What? Anti-god was the best name they could come up with? Anti-god. <laughs> All right. So it's like the more evil than the devil movie. is anti-God. Okay. So the liquid splashes on some of the scientists and they become possessed. Ah, my eye! <laughs> we usually only do that. <laughs> I don't know if we want to talk about this. No. <laughs> Normally we do. To, to, imita to imitate when dudes get boners and it hits them in the face. Usually 15 year old boys. Yeah. Boners to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the liquid splashes on some of the scientists and they become possessed and they start trying to kill other people. Okay. So a mob of homeless people surrounds the building and attacks anyone who tries to exit. So the survivors are all trapped inside. Okay. The survivors share communal dreams wherein they see a dark figure emerging from the church uh -oh. with a voice warning them that what they're dreaming is an actual event from the future that they must stop. Shit. Some of the possessed scientists spill the remaining liquid onto a woman who becomes the embodiment of Satan. Uh, so, it, but not anti-God, just Satan. Satan. It's confusing. <laughs> anti-God junior. The devil, basically. there's anti-God, and then the embodiment of Satan. Oh, okay. All Can right. you see a flow chart? Because I'm getting confused. Yeah. yeah, I should have brought a flow chart. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I didn't bring my, my uh, yeah. PowerPoint. PowerPoint. <laughs> Here's what we know. I don't think a possession by any member of the devil's family is good. So I think we can just know right. that right off the bat. Okay. So I'm with you. So... The chick who's the embodiment of Satan tries the, to pull the anti-god by the hand from another dimension using a mirror as a portal. Okay. So one of the survivors tackles her into the mirror portal, sending himself, the devil lady, and the anti-god all back into the other dimension through the mirror portal. Okay. Got it. You see this go down? Yes. Yes. What do you do and what does the priest do? So I'm not inside the mirror portal. No, you right? just watched it happen. But an innocent person did fall into the mirror portal. Correct. Okay, here's where ruthlessness comes in. Uh, I'm going to smash the mirror. Sorry, <laughs> innocent person, but I don't know what to do because we can't have anti-God and the devil and the embodiment of Satan running around. More money, more money. But can't that is but Gerald cancer. from Two Peas on a Pod with a fifty dollars oh donation God, in God. honor wait, wait, of wait, Kim and Kat, and he said also fuck cancer. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, Gerald. Yeah. Um, so I think that he that uh, so to stay alive, I'm gonna smash the mirror. Okay. Um, yeah, I can see you now. I think yeah, I that the. Right person in the movie the priest the priest okay. tries to dive into the mirror swan dive in <laughs> to pull the innocent person out yeah i think so yeah. too you think he dives in what do you what do, you do, do? That, though nick i mean am i attached to this innocent person mm, no but i guess like as a priest you're like supposed you're to be priest. attached to like all innocent people i guess isn't that yeah, part but, of the description? Uh, You're pretty anti anti God, though. So. Right. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm like, we just got rid of Satan and the anti God. I think one sacrifice is worth that, maybe. Yeah. yeah Smash I mean, that we, mirror. We did, like, our enti the entire religion is based on the sacrifice of your own son. So, right, you know, yeah. what's another innocent person? <laughs> I need a so glass shattering sound mirrors. effect. Everyone is smashing yeah. mirrors, but yeah. we both think that the priest in the movie dives in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. So we got two. Who got? So um, you both get a point, but he does the same. He shatters the mirror and closes the portal. Whoa! Go priest! Wow! Goodbye, goodbye Satan. Goodbye, anti-god. 
Not today, Satan. You can't not fuck not around today, with Anti-God. Not today, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what movie that is? I have no idea. <laughs> None. It is The Prince of Darkness. Ah, so another you got The Prince of Darkness, the Anti-God, <laughs> Satan. There's too many levels. I seriously I need a flow chart. Prince. Right. Seems lower. Oh, yeah, he's you know. lower. Um, that is written and directed by the amazing John Carpenter. Oh, and yeah. And stars um, Donald Pleasance, Pleasance. Um, who played Dr. Loomis mm-hmm. in the Halloween film. R.I.P. Dr. Loomis. He plays the priest. Cool. That's amazing. All right. Do we have time for one for more? I think we, we could squeeze one. one more in. Let's get one more in. All right, I love right, this. Right. This is so much fun. So this one I'm really excited about. I told Eric to put this one in because this is actually, Kim hasn't seen it, but this is actually from the movie that my husband wrote um, that you can get on Amazon Prime right now. It's called Sympathy. So I gave away what it was, but... Um, uh, you haven't seen it, so all right, I haven't. All right, friend. So <laughs> terrible. I think I should see it by now. Um, we've only been together <laughs> ten years, Kim. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Okay. So, um, all right. So you, Kim, are taken hostage by a bank robber. Oh, different bank robber than the one who ended up in the vampire bar. Not myself. Um. And he takes you hostage in a seedy motel. Um, and he handcuffs you to the bed by both hands. That's important. Okay. Handcuffs you to the bed uh, by both hands. You attempted to escape, like you did actually try, and the motherfucker shot you in the shoulder. So, like, okay. now you have a shot, shot shoulder, you're kidnapped, you're pissed, um, and handcuffed to a bed, and I promise you that those sheets have not been changed. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so like this is this is it's not looking good for you. Then, as if things could possibly get worse, an escaped convict just happens to also break in to the motel room what? where you are, and this motherfucker takes you and the bank robber hostage. Oh, this is very similar to the vampire situation. Right. So uh he's like, I will let you both go if you Kim can get the bank robber to tell me where the money is that he just bank robbed. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, he, then the convict convict is like, I've been in jail for a while. Showers have been stressful for me. So I'm going to go take a shower real quick in this motel room where we are. Y'all talk it out. So now you're handcuffed (laughs) to the bed with the bank robber. Okay. Okay. Convict is in the shower, giving them, giving him a little scrub down. And you notice that the convict's knife, he dropped it. And it's stuck in the wall above the headboard. Okay? So, like, okay. Okay. you're handcuffed okay. to the bed. Bank yeah. robber's there. Nail is, or knife is stuck in the headboard above right. you. Right, right, Okay. What do you do, Bernsey? What do you do, Nick? And mm. what do you think our hostage lady friend does. It's a lady, by the way. Um, good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause there was a, I was going down a different route for a second, but I like that there's a knife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, Is it uh, only your okay. hands that are handcuffed? Yeah, hit, handcuff, handcuffed above the bed like this. Cause I'm, I, okay, I'm gonna grab the knife though, cause my hands are there. Okay. I was saying, like, maybe I didn't know if you could reach the knife with your hands, but like, you, if you're super acrobatic, you could just flip those legs up and grab the knife with your feet Ooh. somehow. Yeah, because I don't know if you can quite reach the knife with your hands, Bernie. Yeah, I'm saying, like, flip those feet up and okay. then get the knife. Know. And then, like, when the convict comes out of the shower, you're just like lunge at him, like, with the feet, like, crouch up and then thrust your legs at him to stab him. Ooh, yeah. are you going to go with Nick's answer as well? Okay. I mean, here's the thing. I have hand model hands they're very dainty and beautiful so i can really squeeze out of things Mm -hmm. when people think that i can Mm -hmm. so like i I think i can get a hand out (laughs) okay okay all right i'm going what do you guys think she does i think she has to go for the knife right it's it's, somehow she has to go for the knife okay maybe does she tell the the bank robber about the knife and try to convince him to use it against the convict? Well, he's handcuffed yeah. as well. Oh. Hmm. I'll know. give you a clue. Nick, you're a genius. So 
with the we legs. Use our, we use our feet. We use our feet. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm gonna give y'all <laughs> triple ding. So here's what this motherfucking bitch does. She's still pissed that she shot. So even though she has to team up with the bank robber now, she does use her feet to fucking pull the knife out. And then she squeezes her hand out of the handcuffs. We both do yes. Yes. Squeezes her hand out of the handcuffs. Then she flips around on top of him, cuts his thumb off so that he can slide his hand out. And then just because she's pissed, she fucking eats his thumb. Whoa! <laughs> so he can't sew it back on. Oh, and then this oh bitch is real. Yes. That's how you stay alive. Yeah. That is. I think that amazing. was perfect timing because I think that's all we got for you. That is perfect. So, ladies, really, really quick, we've got Paul Chomo from Varmints coming in, but please tell us where we can find Kim and Cat Stay Alive. Maybe on the web. All the places. You can listen to us on all the places that you listen for podcasts. Uh, you can find our website at KimandKetStayAlive.com. And you can follow us on social media at KK Sam Podcast. Mm -hmm. Twitter, guys, Facebook, Facebook, all of the above. Yeah, You guys have moved that donation goal. We are almost at 20% of our goal. You guys are amazing. Thank you so, so much for being here. That was a lot of fun. That was so much fun. Yay. Thank you so, so, so much. much. Having us. Thank you so much. We love you and fuck cancer. And thank fuck you for doing this. Cancer. You guys are awesome. Thank you so, so much, ladies. We are going to bid farewell to Kim and Kat Stay Alive, maybe. And yep. please check out their show. They're absolutely wonderful. We adore you. Thank you so, so much. Put a ghost in me. I'm, I'm done. done. <laughs>